What we're looking at here is FPV 70-1 Buffalo Nickel tangling with a compression zone of low pressure system in the Sea of Japan. As we approach it, we are in 20 to 30 knot winds, which build to a steady 30 to 40 knot winds over a period of 24 hours with initially three to four meter seas building to five to six and a half meter seas as it peaks. The vessel is trimmed neutrally with about 40% fluids on board. Initially, as we approach the squash zone, we're turning 1550 RPM. I was trying to maintain the best speed I could without slamming down on the forefeet, which seemed to be about eight knots. And as we get the bow immersion, which you can see there slowed down, she'd come down to about five and a half, six knots briefly, and then build up speed again. What you can see here is a very gentle, comfortable motion as the bow and cutaway immerses into the succeeding sea, which creates a lot of green, green water, but then she shrugs it off and keeps going again, which is what she's designed to do. A lot of vessels with a much higher block coefficient would be um, uncomfortable to the point of dangerous in these conditions especially attempting to continue at six to eight knots. Um, in terms of um, tankage, she's at the low end of the sweet spot, but obviously not tender and with really nice lateral stability. see there we're doing 1500 rpm here we've got the exit wake you can see clean release there and the weight coming up around the swim step which minimizes the hobby horsing effect which makes for a wet swim step but much more comfortable motion upwind as we approach the squash zone the waves get more compressed with a shorter wave period and steeper and tend to stand up more. Um, you can see here in the great room, which is extremely quiet considering what's going on outside. And once again, very comfortable motion. Easy to forget the, the sea conditions that are going on outside when you're down in here, given that we're down to about 56 decibels. Um, you can see a missing headliner there where I took the research and development a little bit too far. We have a breaking wave coming just from starboard there, which doesn't stop the boat at all. But that shows the right amount of volume, of hull form volume on the ends to make for a comfortable ride and not accentuate the hobby horsing. You can see now the waves are compressing and standing up more. And looking back here at the exit wake and the release at the swim step, once again, you'll see as the boat rides over the wave, as the wake exits, it comes up around the swim step rather than lifting the swim step itself. At this point, I've reduced speed to about 1450 RPM, which is giving me a constant six knots. And as the bow immerses into the wave like that, we lose about two knots of boat speed momentarily, and then she builds it up again. And once again, the, the motion is quite comfortable from up here on the matrix helm chair where the crew can move around the boat safely.
we're back to the swim step now, watching the exit wake. And you can see that as the wave passes under the boat from the higher pressure area to the lower pressure at the swim step and then is released. It's quite clean there with minimal turbulence. Now we're back up on the matrix. There's a good example there, the wave and then the bow re-immersing into the next wave without any considerable loss of boat speed and no slamming. So it's a very easy, comfortable, soft motion. So she comes up and then the bow re-immerses which she just shrugs and off and continues with a momentary loss of boat speed of a couple of knots. But no real slamming there. And if we slow it down with this wave, which we can see is cresting, She rides over quite comfortably. Even on the smaller FPBs, the 64s, in these conditions, I would be reducing speed considerably down to about 1,000 turns. about 16 litres an hour per engine at the moment at 1500 turns. matrix to the horizon which makes them six and a half to seven meters what I'm trying to do here is keep the seas on the shoulder um, by about 10 or 15 degrees which I feel reduces the slamming. They are, the currents against wind are definitely making these seas stand up. Um, but we, we're sitting on this conveyor belt of current here. There's a bit of slamming going on. 